Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Addy. So for today's video, let's update the 13A visa process for foreign nationals who are eligible for it. Details coming right up. So it's been a while since we update the 13A visa process for foreign nationals. For this video, let's check back if there's any additional requirements posted at the Bureau of Immigration website, especially to those who are going through the 13A visa process. In this video, we are going to talk about who are eligible for it, how much does it cost, where to apply, and what's the process for 13A. We have a little bit of background with 13A visa because my husband is a 13A visa holder. He is now a permanent resident of the Philippines. We went through the process. There are two phases of 13A. Number one is the probationary period. This is for one year. Then the permanent residency, which is for life, but you just have to renew your ACR I card every five years key points that i can share with you guys when applying for 13a it's very important that you guys process the nbi clearance ahead of time because unlike filipinos we could process our nbi clearance within the day it's different for foreign nationals here in our area in general santa city it takes about four to five weeks process for NBI clearance. Now, not all cities or provinces have the same processing time. I'm just giving an example that here in Jensen, that's how long it takes. If you are within the Manila area, which is where the main office of the NBI, you guys can probably process it within the week. Like I said, it varies every city because the city who are receiving your application will initially process it, then send it to the main office in Manila. That's why the processing time varies in every city. Also, I wanted to point out that not all Bureau of Immigration offices cater this kind of services. For example, we are in General Santa City. We do have a Bureau of Immigration field office over here, but they do not cater 13A visa process. We have to go to Davao to process my husband's 13A. That's why it's very important to check the Bureau of Immigration in your area if you guys are planning on processing 13A. I will be showing you the requirements posted at the Bureau of Immigration website. Also, key points to remember that in every Bureau of Immigration offices, they have additional requirements. Yes, the general requirements in the website is as is, but I highly suggest to call the office where you guys are applying for 13A because they have additional requirements. Just like from our experience when we applied in Davao, we prepared all the requirements listed on the website, but at the same time, I call the office if there's any more additional requirements to the list and sure there is this is the questionnaire that both of you will have to answer and they require this document to be notarized so it's very important to coordinate with the bureau of immigration office where you guys are planning on applying your 13a that way you guys can prepare all your documentations you guys can prepare all the requirements before heading to the office that way everything is on hand and you can proceed with the process so let's go over to the bureau of immigration website on where to go if you plan on applying for 13a so the website is immigration.gov.ph you will have tabs on the main page of the website you want the visas tab under the visas tab you want to go to immigrant visa by marriage because if you are a foreign national married to a filipino citizen this is the type of visa you want to apply click on that and you will be redirected to another page conversion to non-coda immigrant visa by marriage 
Here's the complete guide on who can apply, where to apply, what to bring, how to apply, and how much does it cost. Who can apply for immigrant visa by marriage or 13A? A foreign national on the basis of his valid marriage to a Philippine citizen. So, Philippine citizen meaning you are a Filipino, you are a dual citizen. Where to apply? You can apply at the Bureau of Immigration main office or other immigration offices. Click here to see the list of offices authorized to process this transaction. I will let you guys go through the list of Bureau of Immigration offices that authorizes the process of this transaction. What to bring? They will have a checklist for you with complete documentary requirements, the application form that you need to fill out, and additional information of applicants' children if needed, just in case you have minor kids that you want to add to your application, you can do so. Now for the checklist. Here's the checklist for the documentary requirements for conversion to non coda immigrant visa by marriage. This is the probationary. As I mentioned earlier, there are two phases of 13A, that is probationary and the permanent residency. You have to go through the probationary first before you can proceed to the permanent residency. There are eight requirements. Number one is joint letter requested address to the commissioner from the applicant and the petitioning Filipino spouse. So you have to address this to the commissioner. You can either have this done at a lawyer's office or you can search online because there's actually a bunch of samples in there. Duly accomplished CGAF or this is the form, this one, application form. I'm going to show you the application form. This is how it looks like. I wanted to point out to make sure this is the updated form. That's what happened to us. I did print the form from their website, but when we got to the Bureau of Immigration Davao City, they are using the updated form, which is one page back to back. So I have to fill it out all over again, even if I have already filled out the form that they have on their website they will only accept the updated form so make sure you guys have the updated form that way you don't have to do it all over again marriage certificate or marriage contract for us we submitted our psa marriage certificate because we reported our marriage in the u.s at the philippine consulate so that's what we presented along with our marriage certificate in the States. Number four, birth certificate or certified true copy of Bureau of Immigration issued identification certificate as Filipino citizen of the Filipino spouse. So it's either your PSA birth certificate, they will only accept the PSA copy. PSA is formerly NSO, or if you are a dual citizen, this is your dual citizenship documents. Number five, photocopy of passport bio page and latest admission with valid authorized stay. So this is from your foreign spouse, his bio page on his foreign passport, and the stamp when he was admitted in the Philippines when he came here. They are making sure that his visa is valid. Please take note that your 13A visa can only be processed if you have a valid visa on hand. Number six, a valid National Bureau of Investigation clearance. If application is filed six months or more from the date of first arrival in the Philippines. So like I've mentioned earlier, NBI clearance takes four to five weeks here in our area other areas it's shorter especially at the main office in manila it's quicker if you guys are living in the province i suggest you process nbi first then the bureau of immigration clearance certificate this is at the bureau of immigration office already this is when you pay the fee they will give you the clearance and everything and they will attach it to the rest of your requirements then original or certified true copy of Bureau of Quarantine Medical Clearance if applicant is a national of any countries listed under Annex A of Immigration Operations Order Number SBM 1409-A who arrived in the Philippines on or after June 
2014. You can find the list of countries under Annex A of Immigration Operations Order. Just Google this and they have the list of requirements. For U.S. citizens, particularly, U.S. is not included on this list. So if you guys are not from the U.S., you guys are from another country and interested in finding out if you guys are required to do this documents, please check the list of these countries. So those are the general requirements from the Bureau of Immigration website. Like I have mentioned earlier, please check with the Bureau of Immigration office you guys are applying to because they might have additional requirements. And if you guys have dependents that you want to add on your application, here are the requirements as well. How to apply? They have the steps here, but these are the steps when you process this at the main office. They actually have almost the same process in other areas, like the attend hearing, your biometrics and stuff. For us, before we submitted all the requirements, we paid for it. Then they texted us for the schedule of the biometrics. Then after that, they texted us again that his application is approved and it's for visa implementation. Then we have to wait again and texted us that the ACR iCard is readily available. You can actually check online if your visa application is approved. I have uploaded a video if your 13A visa application is approved already. So how much does it cost? So for principal, for the main applicant, it's 8620 So just convert that on your currency if you want it converted. If you have dependent like your spouse, your kids, these are the prices plus the $50 one year ACR iCard fee. Then they also charge expedite process. So what we paid before was 11800 I'm not sure this time if that has increased, but prepare around twelve or thirteen thousand, or bring fifteen thousand, just to make sure you have enough for the visa application fee. And after you have done the steps, you paid, you submitted all the requirements and stuff. Like I said, they will contact you when you need to go back for hearing or interview. I've heard other offices will go through interview. I've heard other offices will go through hearings. Most offices will do biometrics. This is for your ACR iCard. My husband went through the biometrics. He did not go through the interview or attend a hearing, but it doesn't mean that he did not went through that process. Others will not go through that process. Just like what I've said, every Bureau of Immigration offices that caters this kind of service has its own process. So please check ahead of time when you are applying for this type of visa and to those 13a visa holders who have gone through the process if you guys can share your experience which bureau of immigration office you guys applied for this type of visa what requirements did you guys prepare is it the same or that particular office also have additional requirements for you to submit if you guys could share that with our community, I will really appreciate it. Our application took about four months process, including ACR iCard for the probationary period. So probationary, your visa implementation will be for one year. Then three months before the one year expires, you have to prepare for your permanent residency application. We will do that on a separate video because that has lesser requirements actually compared to the probationary process. So this is our latest immigration update. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or inquiries with regards to this video or in any of our travel-related videos, please comment it down below and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Or you can direct message me in our Facebook page, same handle, The Eaton Squad. Again, guys, thank you, thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel and to our family. I hope to see you on our next update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone.